Hi there everyone and time to take a look at your Western Pacific weather update here on the 24th of March 2012. I do apologize. Have been uh, doing these videos a little bit less frequently. Just been practicing and gearing up for my debut at NHK World on April 9th. So please be sure to uh, get the channel or get the application to tune in for that uh, on that, that day. So uh, let's look at the weather out here across the Western Pacific. Though we do have a really deep area of low pressure continuing to rush off towards the east across Japan today although yesterday it did bring some pretty heavy rain showers it is moving away from the coastline today so the pacific side of japan really starting to dry off the western side though you're still going to be seeing a lot of these ocean effect snow showers also a little bit of a wrap around continuing to pile up on the western sides of the japanese alps here and also a strong madden julian oscillation still lingering down in the tropics so you're still watching several areas of convection the likelihood of these developing though is starting to back off here as well well but let's look at the surface analysis from Thailand and what you can see here is all these areas of low pressures basically this big troughing area staggering all the way across much of the Indochina region so in southern Vietnam and Cambodia there you have been seeing some pretty heavy rain showers expecting those to continue to persist through the weekend and also out towards Palau here you do have that other area of low pressure really just a big widespread area of convection more or less that's bringing some heavy rain showers actually out there in Koror Palau uh, yesterday there was some reports upwards of 80 millimeters of rainfall in the past 24 hours so a very wet situation out across there as well spelling likelihood for potential for some flash floods especially out here in the central Philippines here any basically any significant rainfall on that region uh, recently has been spelling the chance for some flash floods and even a potential for some landslides out in that area. So definitely something to closely watch, especially with the strong Madden Julian oscillation. And also out here towards the north, you do area of low pressure continuing to move away from Japan, but you still do have the split low. So on the west side, you are seeing that continued rain in the lower elevations and especially in the higher elevations, you're definitely going to be seeing some snow build up across much of the northern Honshu and even extending up towards Hokkaido. And I just want to show you this chart right in here. Oh, this is actually a worldwide satellite uh, map here from the Climate Prediction Center. But I want to show you this. Let's scroll over to WH here. And this is just showing you where the significant areas of the Madden Julian Oscillation is. Well, out here in the Western Pacific, the farther away, basically, I'm going to explain this in simple terms, the farther away from the center of the circle here, the stronger the MGO is, as you can see out here. In uh, the Western Hemisphere in Africa, very weak this time of year. And actually, if you look out there, from not really much cloud cover but out here in the western pacific starting to build up so it's one of the stronger areas out across here thus you are seeing a lot of these high cloud tops and all these thunderstorms out across much of the tropics but let's look here into the next several days here and you do see a lot more thunderstorm activity continuing to build up here across much of thailand indochina here as well and that's basically due to this major surge of energy continuing to push off towards the west but as we've been talking about all week here we were continuing to watch this little area out here towards the east basically south of guam well at this time it doesn't look like it's really going to develop into too much no gaps actually starting to back off in the development of this but it's still moving this energy out here we've been talking about by midweek possibility of a tropical system well still going to be a big surge of energy coming on shore across much of the central philippines including mindanao visayas and luzon so no one's really in the clear but the potential for some flash floods by midweek is definitely going to be there and with it all that rain building up especially those low-lying areas or poor drainage areas is definitely could possibly be a dangerous situation but otherwise though out in the westerlies as this area of low pressure we're talking about today kind of runs away from japan you start to see a big clearing out there so really fair weather out towards the north tropics though by midweek you're going to be really starting to spin up there for you all right everyone that is all for today though if you have any questions comments or suggestions as always please post them in the comment box below and thank you very much for watching here at west pacific weather have a great day. Bye.